If the rain wasn't enough, now it's super windy. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. What a crazy morning, or start to the morning it's been, jeez. Now it's, it's a proper morning, but mm. earlier, oh my god. We just woke up, that's why I look like this. I just put my rain jacket on and we woke up in the lake. It has been raining the whole yeah. night and we are next to a lake, we are in a camping ground and uh, it has been pouring down and now we woke up really in the water. Look at this. And our uh, jacks yes. are not coming right up so we can start our trailer. It's incredible. So we had to manually raise them up. Oh God. Yes. Oh. And, and, and it just wasn't like getting any power. I'm going to drive this out. Okay, okay uh, we'll get out we'll... here and then see if we can help some other people. Uh... Uh, going left, we can't stay left. It's just shallow as you go. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Are we all set to go now? Yeah, with the, we both have the we have the leveling jacks up, uh, and uh, we can now drive out of here. Oh my God! It's still. Whoa, that was a lightning. Yeah. Luckily, we did not unhook it last oh night, huh? God. Wow. Oh, Jesus. It's still going. We just got this, set, so we don't <laughs> know it inside and out. But and luckily, people were helping. Crank yeah. it, so we gotta get out of here. I think I have the keys. Okay. okay. So we were awoken by somebody pounding on the trailer, and the, we were kind of wondering like, our neighbor next to us was just talking our ear off last night, and we. Yeah, my ear, because she would escape and go into the trailer. I was busy. I was busy doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and so we we're like, what does he want this early in the morning? We had just woken up. And um, like really so, pounding yeah, they were everywhere. really pounding. So we knew it was an emergency. So I finally get my pants on and I open the door and it's completely flooded. The lake had risen, God, I don't know how many feet. I don't know in feet anyway. Well, true. How but... many meters do you think? <laughs> um, I mean, I think... six meters? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, not six meters. No, I think it was. It was... Six would be... No, that would be way too high. Two oh, meters. Oh, you mean like this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was thinking how much oh, inland that far. it came. Right, yeah, right. It was more oh, than 10 meters. God. Oh, way more. Yeah, because we were, we were not obviously not right on the edge of the lake because it's a camping ground, so there is enough space. Yeah. But it has been pouring down the whole night. And then we woke up in the lake. It looked like the lake yeah, was the, all over yeah, us. Yeah, we were literally in the lake. It was like this. Like oh, this, yeah. the water. Yeah, because yeah, everybody yeah, was in the water. Yeah. And we couldn't lift the, the jacks up so we can start our trailer. Thank God we didn't un unhook it or unhitched it. Uh, yeah, unhitched. Unhitched yeah. it yesterday. So we could just <clears throat> start just like that after we lifted the jacks. Because if you had to actually do all that, and it's pretty low, it could have been a little bit in the water. What a crazy morning. Thank goodness somebody was pounding on our trailer this morning to wake us up. Because as you can see, it's still pretty dark. Uh, I don't know, it's maybe about six in the morning. And cannot believe how much the lake came up. It's extraordinary. And I mean, we were in about 18 inches, maybe 20 inches of water, the trailer, the truck. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna go back down. Uh, Mihaila is uh, back in the trailer and I'm gonna go back down and see if I can help anyone. Good yeah, we're staying God. at the uh, Thousand Trails Trace Natch uh, campground. And we're camped on one of the uh, the lakeside camp spots. Beautiful, otherwise. Yeah. We are hoping for a sunset. We're getting ready with a bottle of wine. We got here in time, and it's 
car did rain. <laughs> yeah, it literally rained the entire night, and the lake, I'm guessing, was probably 50 feet at least from the trailer or the camp spots, and it had risen all that way to come all the way in, and then we were probably 18 inches in water. It, it was crazy. But this guy here, after he pulled the trailer here, he went back. Aww. And he helped everybody there, so until everybody got out. So now we are all lined up, <laughs> dried out here, and everybody's safe. I'm helping this guy connect his truck, but he has to park all the way out here. Ah, oh, well, it feels really good to help some folks out. And now I'm absolutely soaked and freezing and can't wait to take a warm shower. Yeah, it was really heartwarming to see everybody come together and help yeah. each other. Like once you were done helping someone with one task, somebody would go to, to, to another trailer and help people. And I was helping this older couple who are kind of new to RVing and he was, uh, he was a bit overwhelmed. So I was, I was happy I was there to help him. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, good thing that we are all safe right now, but yeah. hey, this is the start of our trip. Yeah. So, so earlier this year, I sent Mihaila a package for her birthday, and it did not arrive for two, two and a half months, don't you think? Uh, it was, yeah, two months. Two, oh, yeah, it was two months. So I had bought her something else that I really wanted to send her, but given that experience, I decided, nah, I'm not gonna do it. So I have hauled this package that I bought her this present, um, and she is about to open it. So, here she is. I love presents, giving them and receiving them, and I've been dying to see what this was. He didn't let me open it. By the way, I got my present two months later on 8 of March, International Women Day, so it was still a nice day to get a present. It does say UPS. Oh no, because you got it. Oh, you have to turn the package over, I think, because it says it gives you an indication of what it is on the other side. Oh, maybe it's inside the box. Oh. Yeah. Do you need a knife? No. Okay. Uh, this looks Amish. <laughs> Horse and carriage. Oh, Horse you're and... right, but. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I kind of have an idea. Oh. No, you don't actually. So. Oh my god, there, there are two? Okay, just go in there. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. I love yellow. Look how cute this is. Oh, thank you. But we don't stop here. Now she does know what the other package is, but she didn't know that one. Yeah, that's because I did show her on the uh, FaceTime what this other one is. And that's why I opened this one first because I couldn't wait to see what it was. I saw this one on the camera, but still I want to see it like live. Wow. <gasps> wow, I didn't know it was like this inside. Oh my god, does this guy know how to shop or not? Or what? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> Look! Oh my god, he did so well! Thank you. Mwah. And as it is gift exchanging time. <laughs> Now it's his turn because we haven't seen each other for Christmas, for our birthdays and everything. So we sent stuff along. So he got the pair of my watch. 
so but now he's got a present as well oh, yeah. which is wrapped in romanian um pattern yeah i love this i wanted it to be romanian stuff but i didn't manage to have everything pure romanian so oh wow oh babe that's a beautiful shirt look what it says on you traveler <laughs> oh that's cool oh i love it's a this. shirt that doesn't wrinkle oh, so it's okay. a little bit elastic and that actually that is pure romanian this is with egyptian cotton <laughs> so this is a romanian brand it's very famous it's very old and this is a uh, well, kind of luxurious Egyptian cotton. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, these are beautiful, babe. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we're, our next, we're, as soon as we're finished with breakfast here, we are heading on to Huntsville, Alabama, also known as Rocket City. Oh, this is very exciting to see the Rocket City. Yeah. So stay tuned until our next episode. Backroadtrip.com